Good morning. I have a massive news for you with regards to thicker symbol. All right. So I sent an alert on my private Discord with regards to MULN. So with MULN, I send an alert right here. Okay. I send an alert I send an alert on July 4, 2023, 6 p.m. So when everybody is partying, I did some research on MULN and I noticed that MULN hit rock bottom, hit rock bottom. It's going below 10 cents. So the company will not allow any more reverse split at this time and then going below 10 cents okay going below 10 cents what's going to happen is the stock if they do that below 10 cents within the next 10 days the stock will be delisted and uh, the company of muln they don't want that to happen so i'm pretty sure because of that they're going to make some huge announcement. This is my prediction, right? This is just the psychological effect of what needs to happen to make this happen. So they're going to make a big news. So they made big news about the lawyer. All right. So the lawyer is good. It's about naked shorting. Yes, of course. I have to agree that the stock MULN has been naked short. Yes, that is true. But that is also in combination of the delusion of the company, right? Naked shorting and then delusion did not help. It made it worse. So a lot of people lost money. So the stock went way below, right? 0.10 cents. And now if you look at this stock right now, it is going kaboom. It is actually booming right now. All right. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at what's happening. Okay. So M M U L N is now trading at it even went to 30 cents today. Went up to 30 cents today. It's 29. It's trading around this area. Now there's gonna be multi-halt that is going to happen because there's more big news. So they made this lawyer announcement. Uh so that's good. They're fighting the naked shirt. That's good. That will help a lot. Okay. The other one too is um they made an announcement of 25 million buyback shares okay mullen just announced a 25 million buyback shares now mullen or david has no obligation to pursue that or to continue or to really buy that 25 million they have no obligation but they made the press announcement that is their plan okay great that is their plan right so at this time because of all of these things that's happening, maybe within the next 10 days or next 45 days, there will be a possibility of zero delusion, right? Zero delusion. So the company is going to bring the stock way up higher and higher and higher, right? So that's a good tendency of a swing trade on MULN, right? The stock is probably, in my opinion, will go above $1, right, in the next 45 days why is it going to do that they're going to do everything in their power to be compliant with the delisting with the nasdaq so that's a very very good bullish information for all the buyers and for all the retail investors of muln right so i send an alert at 0.1024 cents and if you look at it right here it's a scalp play it's a very nice scalp play where you can buy and then sell stocks, buy, buy and sell stocks, right? So this stock right here, um, MULN, is has a free float, okay? A free float of 190.19 million. That is available, okay? That is available in the market to be 
buy and sold. This is what is available in the market for us to be buy and sold. Okay. But the total, the total, okay, share outstanding that MULN has is 243.57 million. Okay. Copy that, right? All right. Good. Now that we copy that. Now, the average volume of the stock is 111.7 million to 132 million. But yesterday, massive, 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 massive uh, volume, volume that happened. Let's take a look. I think it went over. Uh, it's really, really high. M-U-L-N. It went to ooh, almost 300. Right now, it's 300 million. It's over 300 million, which is over than the outstanding shares, right? So this is a very, very bull bullish for the stock. But wait, it's not over yet. All right. Take a look at this, guys. Take a look at this information. All right. At this time, because all of this buying, MULN is now on a threshold list. Okay. MULN is now on the threshold list. Take a look at that. Right. That is, this is very, very bullish. It's now on a threshold list. Okay. What does that mean? What is that means is, again, they are not delivering all your shares. They are putting it in the dark pool. They are not putting it in the right, uh, right um, for us, for all of us. So that's why instead of uh, the stock is at 0.28 cents, it should have been at 0.50 cents already. But naked shorting is definitely happening on MULN. And I, 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 I agree on that one. I agree. Okay, so that's on a threshold list. So this is very, very bullish for all the investors. Now, if you look at this area right here, you see that 22.91, okay, 22.91. That is what is borrowed by the short sellers and they have not returned. And this one right here, which is the 43.58 million, you see that? So that 43 million shares, that is what borrowed by the short sellers and they have not returned that according to Ortex, right? According to, to, uh, to Ortex, all right? So that needs to be returned by the short sellers. So there will be a massive squeeze potential on this stock. Only if David stopped diluting and stopped doing all his his uh his stuff or selling his stock right so a lot of the people are afraid because if the stock goes up david will try to sell his shares and get his money right so we need to watch that we need to pay attention on that one to see if david is doing that right so we need to watch that and pay attention and that's why i'd like you guys to subscribe to my youtube channel so we can monitor what David is doing with regards to this stock. Is he going to sell? Is he going to do all of that? So we need to monitor, right? We need to monitor that. So that's what that information is. And at this time, the the short sellers, okay, the short sellers right here borrowed, okay, borrowed shares 2.37 million, okay, and they paid 15%. Okay. They borrowed 2.37 million, which is this one, borrowed 2.37 million, okay, and they paid about this much. You see this one right here? They paid 15.16%, okay. Now, this information right here, you see this utilization? What that one means is almost 100% of this broker have already lent out all of their shares, okay, to all the short sellers. So there's no zero shares now available to be borrowed, okay? And what this one means is very, very bullish for the stocks, okay? One other thing that's most important is the total shares on loan is 57.36 million, which that is equivalent to 30.16, okay, percent, 30.16 percent, all right? This is very, 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 very bullish. Very, 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 very bullish. Okay. So there is a possibility of massive squeeze that is about to happen on this stock. You know, all right. Just by looking at this information right here, 
this one right here is the days to cover okay and uh this one right here is the ortex estimated short interest uh the estimated you know current live one right now it, it went up to almost 40 let's see that's almost uh 21.8 percent okay what date is this this one is tuesday june 20. so a lot of things is very very bullish look at look at the volume look at this this volume take a look at this guys watch this okay let's go for muln volume look at that what date is this this one is july wednesday july 5 mullen volume 1.39 billion 1.39 billion that is the volume of muln you see that you see that guys you you follow it right take a look at this i'll show you i'll show it to you again which is this one okay this one right here let me see okay. this one oh we can i guess we can't do it on this one but anyway look at that 1.39 billion <laughs> july 5 was the uh was the uh volume okay guys if you like this kind of update please subscribe please hit the like button please hit the notification button now guys you need to pay attention you need to take profit if it's needed to be all right now in order to maximize profit we need to watch david whatever is he doing is he gonna sell his shares is he going to dilute so right now i'm suspecting within the next 10 days a lot of bullish things that's gonna happen on muln so the goal of muln is to go above one dollar would the stock achieve that yes the stock will achieve over one dollar possibly within the next 10 to 45 days okay big news is happening on muln they are they are bombarding it with uh with the retail and the hype is good the retail everybody else when the hype is good like this this is this is really really good that's why when i send the alert on my private discord at 0.10 cents i predicted this psychological effect that is going to happen within the next 10 to 45 days so when this kind of prediction you need to get involved of what the company is about to do with the stock the stock has already been beaten down that's why i like stocks that's been beating down all the way and then the key is to identify the bottom price of that stock when you identify the bottom price of that stock it's easy to buy on that stock at the lower price wait for it to go kaboom 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 and then you take your profit i uh i am not holding a uh, long-term muln okay there is no way i'm going to do that it's just because of the reputation of the ceo um you know selling his stocks and and then delusion they're gonna continue to do that so but at this time the goal of muln is to bring it above one dollar and put it back in nasdaq compliance that is the goal that's what they're doing and that's why they're doing all of these uh all of these news and the retail and everybody else is hyped up so the psychology is there the stock is going to go up over one dollar and timestamp right now is july 6 20 july 6 20 uh, 23 okay guys thank you very much for watching uh, please subscribe please hit the like button please hit the notification button uh may you have love peace prosperity good life good health be with you all i love you all and thank you for subscribing